If there's one single food item that I think has universal appeal, it's fried chicken. Doesn't matter who you are or where you're from, we all love a good fried chicken. I'm gonna be hitting up a bunch of different restaurants in the Lebanon area and I'm gonna be trying their fried chicken. I'll be ranking them on three different criteria, the crispiness, the seasoning, and the moistness. So make sure you stay until the very end and we'll see who has the best fried chicken in Lebanon. Let's go. Now is this fresh out the fryer? Pretty much, yeah. Pretty much. Steady, steady. Good deal. Alright, listen, I know what you guys are thinking. Why, what's he doing at KFC? Well, I gotta get a baseline, okay? And KFC, even though it's a, a chain, they make decent chicken. But here in Lebanon, KFC is not, well, it doesn't have a good reputation. But I do notice that they completely remodeled this interior. It's really nice in here. I got the three-piece meal. It came with coleslaw, biscuit, and a drink. Um, this was not cheap. This is over $12. I think it was like 13 something. But anyway, enough yapping. Let's take a bite and I'll give you guys a rating. And right off the bat, I got a very soggy and oily piece. Uh, this doesn't feel crispy at all. This one's a little bit crispier, a little bit more. It, it looks a little bit better than that last piece. But all right, here we go. One bite and I'll give you guys my rating. Zero crunch. There's no crunch. But I like the flavor. It has good flavor, it's very moist. Mm. My rating for KFC, 2.5. I like how it looks. It's a nice place to sit, but you can find way better chicken elsewhere. Sorry, KFC. I was a little reluctant to include Magic Walk because they only do chicken wings and I feel like chicken wings are kind of its own separate category. But quite frankly, they make an amazing fried chicken here. I've been going here for years now and they never fail. And there you go, look at that. That's beautiful, isn't it? And look at that breading. All right, one bite and then I'll give you guys my rating. Mmm. Mm. nice and crispy because it's fresh out the fryer nice and juicy and the flavor is just mm. i don't know what's in it but definitely one of the best tasting fried chicken in lebanon i'm going to give magic walk a 4.25 if you've never had their chicken definitely come check them out here on quentin road at the south point center but one more thing make sure you get some of this packet hot sauce that they have there. It's not good on anything else but their fried chicken. I, I just like to squeeze a little dab on there like that and then enjoy. Mm. Popeyes is a relatively new addition to the fried chicken scene here in Lebanon. I think they've been here for maybe about three or four years. Don't quote me on that, but somewhere around there. Popeyes has their own loyal following. A lot of people love Popeyes. And someone told me that I need to have these ghost pepper wings that are kind of a new menu item. And it only costs five bucks for them. So I figured I'd give them a try, take a bite, and give you guys a rating. It looks very crispy. It feels crispy. All right, here we go. One bite, and then I'll give you guys my rating. Yeah. Mm, Absolutely. Great. Enjoy, bro. Thank you. Thanks. You got pretty dessert. It's crispier than KFC, and I got the spicy. There is a little bit of a kick there, but kind of bland. KFC was actually seasoned a little better than this. This is um, kind of mild. My rating for Popeyes is 2.75. But I also have these ghost pepper wings. You guys know the rules. Here we go. One bite. Mmm. Ooh. It's got a little kick. Popeye's ghost pepper chicken, 3.25. Pretty good chicken. And they give us free dessert. Blueberry something. Blueberry something. One bite, you know the rules. Mm. 
I'm now standing outside of the Country Fair restaurant, which is located in Myerstown. And I actually wasn't planning on coming out this far, but I just happened to be in the area on business. And someone on Facebook told me that I have to try the Henny Penny Chicken here at Country Fair. For those of you who don't know what Henny Penny Chicken is, it's basically just chicken that's cooked in a pressure fryer. Pressure frying chicken usually results in a more um, flavorful and juicy chicken. I got the Henny Penny Chicken uh, entree, which is four pieces of uh, chicken and it comes with two sides. And the total was, I think around 14 or $15. So not the cheapest chicken, but hopefully it's worth it. Anyway, enough talking, let's dive in. It looks absolutely beautiful. That's a nice looking piece of chicken. I'm gonna take a bite and give you guys a rating. By the way, my rating works on a scale of one to five. Um, I don't really give fives very often, but anything between four and five is really good. Three and four is, is good. Uh, two is meh and one is not good. But anyway, here we go. One bite and then I'll give you guys my rating. Mm. Wow. It's so crispy, nice and tender, juicy. The chicken itself really shines here. It's not overly seasoned. My rating for Country Fair's Henny Penny Chicken, 4.0. That's a damn good chicken that they make here. It's fried perfectly. It's very moist, juicy. The seasoning is perfect. There you go, Country Fair, Henny Penny Chicken, 4.0. Next up, we've got Rob's Twin Kiss, located in Myerstown, literally right down the street from the Country Fair on 422. Very popular spot for ice cream and subs. They actually operate sub shops at two of the biggest markets in Lancaster County. Apparently, they're also known for their fried chicken. So the interior has this really cool retro vibe to it. They also have outdoor seating and a drive through So I got the two-piece meal. It comes with two pieces of chicken and two sides. I got mashed potatoes and fries. It cost me about $10. You can also get the chicken by itself without sides, but mashed potatoes are homemade. Fries look like they're fresh cut. And the chicken, which is the star of the show here, looks like it is possibly lightly floured, but it's definitely fresh out of the fryer. One bite and I'll give you guys my rating. Here we go. Oh, aha. Overall, it's very tasty, moist. It's seasoned nicely, not too salty, um, but not really that crunchy. My score for Rob's Twin Kiss Fried Chicken 3.5. On to the next place. Next up, we've got Heisey's Diner, located on 72 on the north end of Lebanon. It's a classic small town diner that you'll find pretty much in any town in the U.S. It's very popular with the locals here because the prices are really affordable. They do a half chicken for only about $6, so really affordable. I think this is the cheapest uh, cheapest place so far. Let's jump right into it. I'm gonna take a look at the chicken. It is not fried in a Henny Penny fryer. They just use a regular fryer. Um, doesn't look like there's any breading or maybe it's lightly breaded. I'm not entirely sure, but let me go over the chicken leg here. I'll take a bite and then I'll give you guys my rating. Pisces Diner, 3.0. And the reason why is because it's not seasoned very well. I don't think it's marinated. Um, it's kind of crispy, but not super crispy. I think it's not even floured, uh, but it is juicy and they do make it to order. So um, not bad, but not the best either. So if you head in the completely opposite direction on 72, located all the way on the other side of Lebanon is the Clinton House Restaurant. This place is pretty iconic. It's been here for ages. It's another restaurant that serves diner style food. And I heard about their chicken from one of my cousins. 
it comes in a nice box. Look at that. <laughs> Great presentation. Uh, staff is extremely friendly there. And look at that. That is a beautiful piece of chicken. Definitely looking a lot better than the last place I was just at. Here we go. One bite and I'll give you guys my rating. Exterior is nice and crispy. The perfect amount of breading. Interior, still juicy, flavorful, not overly spiced. It's a very light marinade. You get a little hint of savoriness, but my score for the Quentin House restaurant is 3.75. I got three pieces of chicken, some fries and mashed potatoes for about $14. A little bit more expensive than, um, than Heisey's, but right in line with the Country Fair restaurant out in Myerstown. So 3.75 for the Quentin House restaurant. So this is the Stop and Chill, a new convenience store that opened up about a month ago. It's located on 6th and Locust, and they carry this crispy, crunchy chicken, which is a franchise out of the Louisiana area that specializes in Cajun chicken. I actually came here a couple days ago and I had their chicken, but I wasn't really impressed. And I think the reason why is because their chicken, the, the batch that I got had been sitting under the heat lamp for I don't know how long. So I came back to try and get a fresh batch and give you guys a more accurate score. So let's go in and check it out. All right, so they're frying me up some fresh chicken here. Now, I didn't ask them to do this for me. They're just doing a new batch here anyway, so. Yeah. And by the way, those biscuits are crack. They're so good. All right, we've got a fresh batch of crispy, crunchy chicken. I'm very excited to try this because like I said, I, I did come here before and um, I actually rated them uh, 3.5 or 3.25, I can't remember. But anyway, I'm, I'm gonna dig in real quick here while it's still nice and hot. Here we go. The crispy, crunchy chicken at the Stop and Chill. You know the rules, one bite, and then I'll give you my rating. Here we go. Mmm. Mmm. Oh my God. Nice and hot. Mmm. Mmm. Getting them fresh out the fryer makes all the difference. It is crispy, super moist, and very flavorful. I will say that for Cajun chicken, it doesn't taste like super Cajun-y. Super Cajun-y, I don't know if that's the right word to, to say it, but it's not, like, it's not like really spicy, but it is well seasoned. My score for the crispy crunchy chicken here, the Stop and Chill, 4.25. It's been very hyped up on Facebook and, and I gotta agree, it, it's some freaking good chicken here. So come in, check out the Stop and Chill. And also, don't forget, don't forget the biscuits. The biscuits are freaking crack. These are really good. Mm. I've eaten at eight different spots so far, and we're currently at spot number nine, the Union Beer House in Lebanon. Most of you guys that follow me know that this is my place. Uh, not my place, but <laughs> this, is, this is the spot. I like to come here for beer. It's kind of like my watering hole, but the cheesesteaks are really good here. Uh, the fried rice. They also do a uh, Cambodian beef stick now. And their fried chicken is also really good. I've eaten them so many times. I had to include them in this review. So I might be a little biased with my rating here. But anyway, we were having this conversation beforehand whether or not wings counts as fried chicken. And for me, the criteria is if the wings are sauce, then they're chicken wing, like buffalo chicken wings. But if it's fried or breaded and fried or marinated and fried, then I would consider those wings fried chicken. So comment below if you agree or disagree. Okay, here they come. Booyah. Okay. Oh, look at that. That is beautiful. This is fried chicken. If I took this sauce and tossed the chicken in it, then it would be chicken wings. But that's fried chicken. And that's a beautiful fried chicken there. Look at that. 
By the way, you gotta ask for the union wings, not the wing dings. Those are different. These are the union wings. But look at that. Oh wow, that's hot. Yeah, you gotta let them cool for a little bit. <laughs> I already know for a fact that the union's wings are the crispiest wings. I I don't know how they do it, but they are extremely, extremely crispy and hot. We made the order. Oh, this is so hot, dude. Okay, hold on. I don't know if I can one bite this. This is too hot to one bite. I'm gonna take a bite and I'll give you guys my score. Ready? <laughs> You're big. <laughs> Oh. 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 my god, it's so hot. Look at that. Super crispy. Look at the steam. Put it up there. Super moist. It's great flavor. I'm going to give you my rating. Hold on. Look at that. Perfectly cooked, very crispy, great flavor, and we know it's handmade by Max Mama. So I gotta give this. Max Fried Chicken. I gotta give Max Fried Chicken, <laughs> the Union Beer House, 4.5. If you never had the fried chicken wings here at the Union Beer House, come here, order the Union Wings. Also, get yourself a Union Cheesesteak and the cheesesteak fried rice with an egg on top. So there you have it guys. Union Beer House 4.50. Our 10th and final spot, Greek Town Pizza. This pizza shop has been here since, well, since I used to live down there, I used to come here and get pizza. Their pizza was really good back then. It's still good now. They're also known for their fried chicken. Let's go in and check it out. That is looking oh, 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 crispy. There you go. Nice for hot ketchup. Anything Ooh. else for you? Ooh, I think that's it. Thank okay. you. Beautiful. Look at that. It sits on top of a bed of curly fries, Coco. Yeah. Come on, man. Mm. You get some pickles and bread. Yeah, beautiful. Here we go. Greek town fried chicken. And look at that. It looks really good, doesn't it? And it's nice and hot, made to order. Oh, it's beautiful. I'm sorry. I'm just admiring it. But okay, here we go. One bite, and then I'll give you my rating. It's hot. It's hot. Hot. Start over. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> this is really Turn hot. Turn around. Turn around Hold so you on. can't see it. It's fucking hot. Oh. Oh. Mm. You gotta eat while it's hot. Okay? And that's the key. Oh my god, it's freaking hot. <laughs> oh god. Oh. Look at that. Look at this crisp. Okay. Hot. I'm going to. Now try the Nashville. Greek Town Fried Chicken 4.75. It's nice and crispy, super juicy, very flavorful. But it's extra tender because of the pressure fryer. That's the best chicken in Lebanon. Yep. And there it is, guys. My choice for the best fried chicken in Lebanon. Greek Town Pizza with a 4.75. It was so good, I had to take some to go. Make sure you try the Nashville hot chicken. They make an amazing Nashville hot sauce. Thanks for watching. If you made it this far, you know what to do. I'll catch you guys in the next video.